Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. In this video I'm going to explain what focus or focal point is. And it has something to do with lenses. There are a few things you need to know about lenses. First of all, there's an optical center which is marked with a capital O. This is usually the center point of the lens, so here. When light rays hit this point, they will go past through it without being bent. So they remain unchanged, looking like this. So all light rays going through the optical center will just keep on going as if they were not refracted. If you have the optical center, you can also draw the principal axis. This is a line which runs horizontally through the optical center and it's sometimes also called the optic axis and it looks like this. This is not a line that really exists, but it helps us when we are dealing with lenses. Now we can determine the focus or focal point marked with a capital F. This is a position on the principal axis on both sides of the lens. When we are using a converging lens, you can find the focus where all light rays which run parallel to the principal axis will converge on, and looking like this. So all light rays hitting the lens parallel will converge on one single point. This is the focus or the focal point marked with a capital F. We can also find this one on the other side of the lens. So now the light rays will go from right to left. They will again converge into one single point. We can mark that also with the capital F. So on both sides of the lens you can find the focus or focal point. Now we can determine the focal length marked with the lowercase f. This is the distance between the optic center and one of the foci. So it's either this distance or this one, and they're both equal in all cases. So if the right one is 10 cm, then the left one is also 10 cm. Now let's determine the focus or focal point for a diverging lens. The optical center is in the middle, the principal axis goes horizontally through this, and the focus can also be found where all light rays which hit parallel to the principal axis will spread out from. So if all light rays hit parallel, they will spread out from one single point. This single point is the focus or focal point. Therefore you need to determine where they came from, and you can do that by drawing straight lines back to the back of the lens. And we can mark this with the capital F. And on the other side of the lens, with the same distance, there is the other focus. So the focal length left is the same as the focal length right. Between different lenses, these focal lengths can differ. So different lenses have different focal lengths. The focal length can be changed when we reshape the lens. So here we have a thick lens and here we have a thinner lens. And if we use parallel light rays, we can determine the focal length. Here we have the focus point marked with a capital F. And here we have also the focus point marked with a capital F. And as you can see, the focal length is different. Here the focal length is far shorter than here. This has to do with the shape of the lens. You can also use different materials to change the focal length. So for instance, diamond, water, plastic, glass, all lenses will have different focal lengths. The closer the focus is to the optical center, the shorter the focal length and the stronger the lens. To calculate the lens strength, I will have another video. Now there will be one example question which you can make yourself. Determine the correct focus for both lenses. So we have three light rays hitting this lens and three different points and one of them is the focus. The other lens has the same, so we have three, three different points and one of them is the focus. So try to determine for yourself which two of these six dots is the correct focus for both lenses. If we look at the left one, this is a positive lens, a converging lens, and when the light rays hit parallel, then they will go to the focus. So point B is the focus. This one is a bit more difficult. We need to draw back these lines. So this one goes to D, this one goes to E, and this one goes to F. Now one of these three is correct. If we look at this one, it's not hitting the lens parallel, so this one will not go from the focus point. This one, the red one, is also not hitting the lens parallel, so it's not going through the focus point. But the purple one, as you can see, hits the lens parallel, so this F is the focal point. So B and F are the correct points. That's it. I hope you found this video useful and that you now know what a focus point is and what a focal length is. If you found it helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.